Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kids Health Revolution Kitchen where we are cooking up a revolution in your kids' health, one simple recipe at a time. We are going to be back with live videos uh, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Some recipes, some information uh, videos, lots of good stuff to keep you going on this path to using food and natural approaches to help reverse chronic health conditions, support your child's health, support immunity, all of those good things that we do here at Kids Health Revolution. So today we are doing a recipe and because it's getting warm outside, it's kind of uh, turning into smoothie weather. Although I think for my kiddo, it's smoothie weather all the time, doesn't matter what time of year it is. But a smoothie is a popular go-to snack when it's warm outside and the kiddos are playing outside and they want something refreshing, but that's gonna fill their bellies and you know is full of good stuff. So what we're doing today is actually creating or recreating, I should say, Mango Magic. So if you've ever been to Jugo Juice, you know they have a Mango Magic smoothie and it's one of my son's favorites. Now, they're not bad if you're gonna, you know, get something commercial out at a, out at a restaurant or a fast food type place. They're just juice and fruit, not too bad but we could improve on it a little bit by using whole fruits instead of concentrated juices. And we're gonna add in a little bit of collagen for gut healing benefit, as well as protein, because that helps to balance the blood sugar so that it's not just a straight up sugar bomb. So we're putting in protein to help balance the sugar. And then we're also using the whole fruits. And by using whole fruits, we are bringing in more fiber Fiber is good for gut health and it's also good for helping to balance the blood sugar. So what are you gonna need for this recipe? You're gonna need some frozen, preferably organic, frozen mangoes. I get these at Superstore. You will need an orange. This happens to be a mandarin orange. That's what I have on hand, but you can use any other kind of orange. An apple and some sort of a little bit of juice. So this is uh, grapefruit juice and we're just gonna use a splash of grapefruit juice because it helps to add kind of that tropical fruit flavor that they use in that mango magic smoothie, right? Because what is that mango magic smoothie? It is mangoes, obviously, and then they use orange juice and tropical fruit juice. So we're gonna kind of spin off of those flavors to get it as close as we can. So we're gonna put in a cup of frozen mangoes. Whoop. You could use a little bit more than that if you want to, depending on how much you're making. And then we're gonna use, um, I don't use the whole apple, I probably use three quarters of it. Uh, some sort of nice, fairly juicy apple is good in this recipe. If you've got a really good high-speed blender, like the uh, Vitamix here, you can throw the apple in skin and all. Uh, because it can take care of it. It'll just blend it right down. If you don't, then you might want to think about removing the peel just so that you get that nice smooth texture. You don't have crunchy little peely bits in there because that might not be as appealing to some little smoothie drinkers. And to give it a really good orange boost of flavor, I actually put in some of the peel. And the peel is actually a really amazingly rich source of vitamin C. And we know vitamin C is really good as an antioxidant and is amazing to help boost our immune system and help with detoxification. If you happen to have a child that has a hard time digesting oxalates, so you're trying to follow more of a low oxalate protocol, then you would wanna leave out the peel because the peel is quite high in oxalic acid. So we're gonna put a couple pieces of the peel in and then we're gonna put about half of the actual orange itself. So the whole fruit going in, fiber, pith and all. And again, that pith, that little white bit is where a lot of the nutrients, a lot of the vitamin C and things come from and the fiber come from when it comes to the fruit. All right, so that's all of our whole fruit. Now we can add in some extra things that are gonna boost up the nutrient density of this. So we're gonna add in a little gut healing collagen to this one. And 
That adds protein for balancing the blood sugar. Now, I am really, really sad to report that this brand has been bought out by Nestle, oh, of all people. So, I, hi, Rachel, nice to see you. So, unfortunately, Vital Proteins will no longer be gracing my shelves because I am not a supporter of Nestle and all that they do. Uh, but there's lots of other great companies. Organica is a good brand. Um, Light Cellar, if you happen to be here in Calgary or in Canada, you can get it delivered to your house, has some really good quality brands as well. So one other little trick that we can do with smoothies is add in some other superfoods. So we're going to add in a little bit of medicinal mushroom powder. This one I have here is Cordyceps, which is really great for brain health as well as for modulating the immune system. So I just put about a teaspoon of that in. Um, won't even know it's there, you could use turkey tail, you could use reishi chaga, any of those ones will work. And then we're gonna add in the splash of grapefruit juice just to give it that little tropical fruit uh, flavor because if you've ever had this mango magic smoothie, the way they make it with the tropical fruit, it has that little bit of a tangy sort of bitterness at the uh, note in it with that tropical fruit juice. So that's why we're going to add just a splash of that in and then water so we can blend it all up. Because we've got all the whole fruits in there, we're going to get all the nice sugars from those fruits, but we need something to blend it all up with, right? So we're going to use water instead of concentrated fruit. And I added in, what did I put in there? Just to give you the exact measurement, I added in three quarters of a cup of water. And what I do with water is I add it in slowly. So I don't put in a whole bunch at once because then you can end up with a smoothie that's too liquidy. So I add a little bit at a time. If we need more, we can always add more, but you can't take it away. So let's give this a go. Make sure I'm all plugged in here. And somebody just kind of grinding around in there. So we're going to give it one little go. Yep. There's a chunk in there that hasn't gone down. So I'm going to pulse. That's my trick. If there's little chunks that aren't getting blended up, pulse it on a fairly high heat that bumps everything up and then back down onto the blade. sounds pretty good. Texture is good. It's nice and smooth. If you like it a little bit thicker, then I would suggest only adding about half a cup of water to that recipe. Okay, so you're going to get two uh, smoothies about that size, so two servings, or if you want it, you know, if you want the big size like you would get at the actual store if you were to go and get one of those big monster size smoothies i think it's about 16 ounces then you can fill it right up okay and you've got a glass full of whole fruit here lots of fiber we've got protein we've got vitamin c all the goodness pectin from the apple all kinds of good stuff going right down into this smoothie mm. super tasty that is a good little smoothie, a whole lot cheaper than buying it all the time at your favorite little smoothie store um, or when you can't get there. This one, tasty, but full of more whole food, good nutrition. Now, of course, you know that if you happen to be in the Kids Health Revolution community, our free community, you can grab an actual copy of this recipe by going to the files section in our private group. So if you're watching from the private group, 
check out our files section in a little while. I'll have a copy of the recipe for you. And if you're not part of our private group yet, then you'll want to go to kidshealthrevolution.com and join the free community. It's just at the top, join the free community. And that way you'll have access to all of the copies of the recipes that we do in the Kids Health Revolution kitchen. So I hope that you and your little critters enjoy this recipe. If you have any questions or comments uh, about this recipe or anything gut health related, make sure to post them below and I will follow up with you just as soon as I can. Take good care and we'll see you next Wednesday at three o'clock with another video.